So uh, yesterday uh, we were working with uh, two by two matrices and understanding that we can solve the systems of equations simply by involving inverse um, So just briefly, uh, what we covered yesterday, if you're looking on um, page 18, or page 17, we did five and six, right? Let me just uh, kind of go through the steps for seven and eight, just as a review as what we were able to achieve here. So this is page 17. Uh, we know that we can solve the systems of equations um, by, <coughs> going through elimination methods, right? Getting the X's or Y's to match up and cancel out. But here's the way that we can do it uh, involving matrices and inverses. And we have a coefficient ma uh, matrix where uh, all, once all the X's and Y's are lined up, we can have the, a two by two matrix for the coefficient. We have a two by one matrix for the variable and then the constant um, matrix for um, for our right side constant, right side value. Our goal is to solve for X and Y. So to get this X, Y by itself, we have to move this two by two matrix to the other side of the equation. And as we move it, we have to make sure that we don't do division with matrices. What we do is if we move it, we turn it into its inverse. And when you move it, you want to make sure that it goes in front of your two by one matrix. Okay, if you put it afterwards, it's going to mess things up. So as you move it to the other side, it's got to come first. And then your work is going to be done, what you were able to show me on your quiz, finding the inverse of a two by two matrix. Right? You find the determinant first, right? AD minus BC. You stick that determinant in the denominator of your uh, fraction outside your two by one matrix. And then you flip flop your A and D values. And then you change your signs of your B and C. Right. So once you do that, then you want to multiply out your matrix, uh, your two by two and your two by one matrix out. And, but my suggestion was that you ignore the fraction to take care of the um, easy numbers first so that you can save that fractional messiness until the very end. So you multiply the two by two matrix and the two by one matrix, get that out to be a negative two and 12 for this problem. And then once you get that two by two and two by one matrix to clean up to be a two by one matrix, then your final step is to multiply um, the, your elements with one half. Okay, so one half times negative two is negative one. One half times 12 is six. Okay, so that was what we were uh, practicing through yesterday. Okay. So today um, we're going to talk about determinant and inverse for three by three matrix. Okay. It's going to be a little more difficult, but the thing is that we're going to learn how to find the determinant for a three by three matrix. It's very similar. Uh, there's this uh, diagonal aspect, multiplying and subtracting involved, but there's just more parts to it. And also, we're going to also be able to find inverses of a three by three matrix. As for inverse, we're going to rely on the calculator. Okay. This step is just too much. Uh, to do that's not something that we're going to be responsible for. So we just have to know how to involve the calculator. So we're going to do a lot of calculator work today. So whether you have a graphing calculator or whether you have a, a 36 Pro or um, or a scientific calculator, I'll show you the steps. So whichever calculator that you have, you'll be comfortable um, um, pulling the information that you need to pull. Okay, so go to page 19. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll learn how to do this by hand first, and then I'll show you the calculator step. So we are going to be able to find a determinant for three by three, but it's gonna be a little messier, uh, but uh, we are still gonna be involving diagonals, multiplying and subtracting. Um, there are there's two ways to do this, but I'm just going to show you one way 
And if you want to learn the other way, I can also show that to you later. But I'll show you the way that I feel is uh, maybe a little easier visually. So uh, here's what we're going to do. Okay. If we have a three by three matrix, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, what we're going to do is we're going to recopy the first two columns and make it a, uh, a um, three by five matrix. Okay. And once we have everything lined up, I'm just going to show you what we're going to do and then we'll look at an example. We're going to find all the diagonals starting at the upper left corner. Just like how he did AD minus BC, we start at the upper left corner, you'll do this as the same as well. But now you're going to be looking for um, triplets to multiply together. Okay, so, and triplets of diagonals. So the, uh, the first diagonal, there's a triple here, there's a triplet here, and there's a triplet here. Okay, we're just going to be adding we're going to be multiplying and adding all those products together. So think of this as your quote unquote your AD because for a two by two, right? All we're, you know, we just have to worry about multiplying A and D together, right? And then the other um, direction of diagonals, we're going to be subtracting those. So you can see that there are triple triplet diagonals here. There's another triple diagonal here, and there's another triple diagonal here. And we're going to put a minus parentheses, and then we're just going to add those products together. Okay. After you do a couple of these, um, I think you'll find it pretty easy, but let's go through it step by step with number one. So number one, I'm going to write out my initial three by three matrix. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recopy my first and second columns and put it as my fourth and fifth columns. So the negative three, one, and negative one, I'm going to create a fourth column. And the two, negative one, four, I'm going to create that as recopy that and make it my fifth column. Any questions so far? All right, so now starting at the upper left corner, put a star here to indicate that's where we start. We're now going to find all the diagonal triplets in this direction. You should have three. Three uh, triplets. So now we're going to multiply each of the triplets and then we're going to add them together. Okay, so negative three times negative one times zero is what? Zero. Plus. Okay, next up, two times two times negative one. Okay. And then four times one times four. Okay, plus 16. Okay. Now the next step is important here. Make sure you put a minus sign after it, and then put a big parenthesis. And what goes inside the parentheses will be the other um, combination of values that's going to go in the other direction. So now I'm going to circle these other diagonals here. I should also have three Boxes I'll create here. Okay, so now what goes in this box? Negative one times negative one times four is four. Four times two times negative three. Eight times negative three. Four. And then finally, zero times one times two. Zero. Just have to merge those values together here. So negative 4 plus 16 is 12. 
So a three by three matrix, 12 minus negative 20, that's two negatives becomes positive, 12 plus 20. I can say determinant of matrix E is 32. <coughs> Okay, that's as far as we're going to go in terms of um, working out, uh, working with three by three matrix by hand. To find the inverse, the determinant is involved, but we're going to make the counter do that for us. Okay, and we'll talk about that later. But right now, let's just see if we can practice getting to that determinant for three by three. It kind of resembles a two by two, just a lot more involved because um, we have more um, rows and columns to work with. Okay, can you guys try? And Number two, and follow those steps. Try number two. We're also going to find the inverse, but we're going to make the calculator do the inverse for us. But we're just responsible to find the determinant by hand for a three by three. Now, I will show you how to find the determinant using the calculator as well. But we do need to know how to do this by hand. If we get done with two, then try number three. And number two, we should get determinant being zero. Any questions with number two? Try number three. 
Is there answer? Do I get nine? I went through. Does anybody still need to look at one, two, or three? Okay. All right, if you guys don't have your calculators out, um, I'll be showing you the steps on um, for matrices on 36 Pro, and also I'll be showing you steps on the Graphly calculator. So both of them uh, are, have similar uh, ways of doing it, but then just slightly different. If you don't have one of the 36 Pros, um, I can maybe let you borrow one if I can find enough. Um, but um, hopefully, if you didn't bring one, you can bring one tomorrow, and I will uh, uh, have this video up so you can kind of practice through the steps when you do get a chance to have that calculated. Okay. Okay. So um, let's um, let's try number one with a calculator. Okay, and this is going to come in handy. Uh, when we're dealing with other matrices as well. I'll show on the 36 Pro first. So first thing you do is you're going to try to find that matrix button. Do you see that matrix button? It's on the second row there, but it's in blue, so you're going to do second math. Second math will get you to that matrix uh, feature here. So now you see names, math, and edit, right, at the top of your, um, uh, you have three uh, headers here. You have name, math, and edit. So under math, you're going to see determinant, inverse. We're going to come, uh, those will come in handy. I know that if you don't have a 36 Pro, it's not showing up. So I'll, um, I'll try to let you borrow one if I can, uh, once I get through this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit. And when you go to edit, we're going to go to edit matrix A. Okay, so hit enter. And we're going to do a three by three matrix. So three by three matrix. I don't have enough time to go around now, but hopefully I can find enough, and, or if you can bring one in the uh, next few days. Okay, so you're going to go to again second math to go to matrix, and then edit a three by three matrix. And then hit enter after three by three. Keep hitting enter until you hit that OK. Now you see a three by three matrix. Okay, so you're going to copy what you see for number one. Okay, I think you have to hit the uh, the scroll through that button there. Let me try again. Zero. Okay, negative three, two, four. Make sure you have all those numbers correct. Hit enter. And then once you um, can't go any further, you're going to go back to your home, uh, go back to your home screen. So do second mode, and that'll take you back to your blank screen home screen. So second mode, you see that quit button? That'll take you to your home screen. Okay, so now let's enter in back into matrix again. So do second matrix. 
And now we're going to call the determinant feature. So if you scroll over to that header, you see that there's a map header. Determinant, which is option one, hit enter. So we'll do determinant of matrix. I call this matrix A. So go back to your um, matrix uh, page. So do second map. And under name, now we now we can call matrix A. Okay, we've already edited matrix A. Now we're going to call it. So under name, select one, hit enter. So now you're asking the calculator to find a determinant for your three by three matrix. Hit enter again. 32. Okay, so if you're having, if you're using a 36 Pro, any questions with that? All right, let me shift over to the graphing calculator if you're using one. Okay, any questions? Everybody okay with the uh, scientific calculator? Okay, so shifting over to the graphing calculator, what you're going to do is you're going to also find a matrix button, but now it's it's on that first row, first column of uh, buttons. Yes. You see that matrix there? Uh, it's under uh, right below math. So if we do second, matrix, you're going to get a similar feature. Uh, it looks very much like the page that we went through. Scroll over to edit. And you're going to edit your three by three matrix. If it's, if it's not showing three by three, you can just enter that number in and create a three by three matrix. Enter everything in. So once you have uh, all of your elements uh, filled in, you're going to go back to your home page. So do second mode. That will take you back to your home screen. And now go back into your matrix uh, page again. Do second matrix. And now I want to scroll over to math. I will see that determinant. So you look that your, your menu page is, looks very similar to the 36 Pro. Determinant. Go back to your matrix page. Right. And then under names, I have matrix A ready to go. All right, determinant. Okay, matrix. Okay. I should also get 32. Any questions with the calculator? Oh, sorry. Um, 
Hey, give me a moment, guys. Right, just raise your hand when you're ready for me to confirm you. Okay, okay uh, let's go down to the bottom of the page here. And now, um, we're going to try to set this up so that we can actually involve the calculator to find the inverse for us. Okay. Okay, so we have a three by three matrix. Getting a, a two by um, three matrix. It says we have matrix A, we have matrix A, B, and we're trying to find matrix B. Okay, so here's the So here are the steps. We know the big idea is this, right? If I multiply matrix A with matrix B, we're going to end up with matrix AB. So the idea is that, well, if I can move matrix A over to the other side, I can then isolate matrix B and make the calculator do the work for us. If I want to find matrix B, I'm going to have to move that matrix A over, and as I move it over, it becomes the inverse. So I'm going to say matrix B is equal to the inverse of matrix A times matrix AB. Right, so all I'm doing is I'm just shifting that matrix A over so I can isolate B so I can, I know that if I multiply these two together, the result will be matrix B. Right, so let's set, it, let's set it up using the numbers here. So I'm just going to say it's the inverse of matrix A. I'm not going to actually find the inverse. The calculator is going to do it for me. Okay, so, well, sorry, as I move this over, I need to put a, a negative one here because I need to indicate that this is, I'm actually doing the inverse of this matrix. Okay, so we're going to make the calculator do this multiplication step for us. So I'm going to create a matrix, a three by three matrix here. So, go to second matrix. Edit three by three, and I'm going to enter this in. Okay. Well, we're, I'll show you where uh, how that inverse will come up, uh, play a role. But right now, I'm just going to enter in that three by three matrix. Okay. 
one second. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, so we'll save that. Go back to your matrix page, and then we're going to edit a second matrix. We need another matrix with this. So this is a two by three matrix. So hit edit, and then select rows two and three. I'm sorry, three by two, my bad. Go back to your home screen once you've uh, entered in both. You created both these matrices. So now once you're at your home screen, right, do second mode quit. Um, you're going to call those two matrices. So second mass. We're going to call. So under names, just go ahead and enter. But it's not matrix A, right? The inverse of matrix A. So um, you're going to have to call the inverse feature of this. So second matrix, you see there's a mass uh, option under inverse. So I'm going to make inverse, I'm going to make matrix A the inverse. So negative one will pop up. If you're using your um, graphing calculator, there's actually going to be an X to negative one that you can just use for that instead. And now let's we'll do matrix B. We want to multiply the inverse of matrix A with matrix B. So we'll do the second matrix and then select matrix B. Okay. We're making the calculator, finding the inverse, and multiply it all at once. There's the resulting matrix. If you're using the graphing calculator, it's very similar. Um, it, because the menu item looks very much the same. It's just matrix is uh, located in a slightly different location. But you're not going to have an inverse option, I don't think. So uh, without that inverse option, you're just going to go ahead and just hit that X to negative 1, and that will be your inverse rotation there. Okay, let me just walk around and see if anyone has any issues creating and multiplying these two matrices together. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, let's go to the next page. And we're just going to practice finding the determinants by hand, and then also uh, using your calculator to uh, confirm your answer. Okay, so page 20. So number one, uh, let me just have you guys try uh, one, three, and five. Okay, so set up your columns, and then if you have a calculator, uh, I also want you to double check uh, your determinant with your calculator. Page 20, number 1, 3, and 5. If you get done with one, three, and five, try eight and nine. 
the field strength with those variables, but you're just going to find them the same way. I didn't show the work, but the answers for 1, 3, and 5 will be negative 11, 0, and negative 14. We have a calculator practice plugging those in so that you can get used to um, the buttons and getting creating the matrix and getting calling the determinants. We go with one three five and go down to the bottom of the page, try number eight and nine. Okay, try number eight and nine. Numbers eight and nine, because you only have variables, uh, the answer will just give you two perfect variables. Two and eight, which is
Here's eight and nine. Okay, so tomorrow we'll uh, finish up on systems of equations, and I think we'll also be able to start uh, work processes as well tomorrow. Thank you.